We've played the explanation game in different contexts in the classroom. We played the explanation game with a box full of artifacts to do with the postal system as a way to introduce our unit on, on the postal system. And what I'm trying to do is play that game in different contexts so that the children start to see that the game helps develop our thinking and our sharing of different ideas. Today, we're going to be looking at a piece of artwork done by a grade 12 student. And I want them to really start to look at what's in a painting and to also think a little deeper, dig a little deeper about what they think a painting might be about or what it might be communicating to us. I'm curious to see what kinds of things the children will say. Um, it, the piece of artwork is abstract and it'll be curious to see what they come up with. This is the piece of artwork I told you I would bring to class that somebody in grade 12 painted. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. A high school student painted this painting. But before I turn around the painting, before you start to look at the painting, I want you to remember what the explanation game is. So we're going to talk about the things that we see in the painting. I want you to look carefully at the painting. Tell me what you do notice about the painting. And then you're going to guess and say why. So then you're going to try and tell me what you think the, the painting is about. And you tell me why you think that. All right, this is the painting that the high school student painted. Can you move your toes, Robert? Ooh, it's so big. I'm going to get a pen so that I can write down things that you say. In case you say something that we might need to remember later, I'll put it down on the paper. Okay. So tell me, what do you notice about the painting? What do you think it is? What do you see when you look at it? Fahad. Uh, I, just, I see the black dots. Okay, so you see black dots. They're not dots. <laughs> Sophia. I see some gray and the painting looks like a Dalmatian skin. What makes you say that? Well, Dalmatians um, have dots, but these are a little bit lines. Well, my Dalmatian in China has some. Mars? It looks like there are animals going around. What makes you say that? I, I, I could see a lion running. Can you show me where you're looking on the painting? Okay, oh, I see what you mean. I, need, I see a crocodile. When they hear ideas that are shared by students, it, it inspires their own ideas. And it's like little sparks that sort of catch and move through the class or move through the students as, as they think. <laughs> Nina? Um, it looks like a zebra. What makes you say that? Because there's black and white. They look like Japanese words. What looks like Japanese words? Some looks like Japanese words, like... Which one? What is it you're looking at that looks like Japanese words? Like that one. Mert, have you ever seen Japanese writing before? Yes. Is that what it makes reminds you of? If I were to tell you that this had nothing to do with an animal, what else do you think it might be about? What other explanation could you come up with for this painting? Um, Mert? I'm going to tell a funny thing. It's about running, I think. It's about running. Can you tell me more? That's why these things will have feet and it goes like this. Sophia? It reminds me of my mommy's hair because they are big gray and white and black. Sophia? Any different ideas? Some of you have said animals. Now we have the idea that it reminds Sophia of her mother's okay. hair. Mert said it reminds him of people running. <gasps> Milo. It has a lot of movement. How so? Can you explain to me? It's Tell me like more. Some are different with those, and it looks like it's going like okay. mm. Sophia? It looks like a skipping um, painting. Why? What makes you say that? Well, the lines remind me of skipping and happiness. 
Why is that? I don't know, but that just came to my mind. Okay. I was really surprised by some of the children's responses, especially when they considered what it made them, what it reminded them of. Um, for example, Sophia saying that it reminded, uh, the picture reminded her of her mother's hair with the gray and the white and the black. So I wasn't surprised to get a lot of things like animal skin um, uh, or Dalmatians or zebras as comments for what they thought the painting was about. I was pleased to see Milo pick up on the fact that there was movement in the picture. And the more we do this routine in class, the more the children see this as a way of thinking, um, as, a as a way of sharing information and sharing ideas together. <laughs>